We're asked to find dy dx using implicit differentiation. We begin by differentiating both sides of the equation with respect to x. When differentiating with respect to x, if we have an x term, we differentiate like we normally do. If we have a y term, we differentiate with respect to y and then multiply by a factor of dy dx because we need to apply the chain rule. Looking at the left side of the equation, we need to apply the quotient rule, which I've shown here in the upper right hand corner. Beginning with the denominator, we have the square of the denominator, which is the square of x minus y. In the numerator, we have the denominator of x minus y times the derivative of the numerator with respect to x. The derivative of 5x with respect to x is 5. And then we have minus the numerator of 5x times the derivative of the denominator with respect to x. To find the derivative of x minus y with respect to x, we first differentiate x with respect to x, which is one, and then minus, notice here we have a y term, and therefore we differentiate with respect to y, and then multiply by dy dx. The derivative of y with respect to y is one, and then we have times dy dx. One times dy dx is just dy dx, which should make sense. The derivative of y with respect to x is just dy dx. On the left, the derivative of two plus x cubed with respect to x is three x squared. And now let's begin to simplify the numerator on the left. Distributing five, we have five x minus five y. Because of the subtraction, we distribute negative five x, which gives us minus five x and then plus 5x times dy dx. On the right, we still have 3x squared. Looking at the numerator, notice how we have 5x minus 5x, which is zero. Let's also clear the denominator from the left side by multiplying both sides of the equation by the square of x minus y. Simplifying, we now have negative 5y plus 5x dy dx equals 3x squared times the square of x minus y. The next step is to add 5y to both sides. Simplifying. We now have 5x dy dx is equal to 3x squared times the square of x minus y plus 5y. The last step to solve for dy dx is to divide both sides by 5x. Simplifying, we now have dy dx is equal to, on the left we have three x squared times the square of x minus y plus five y, all divided by five x. And we'll go ahead and leave the derivative in this form. I hope you found this helpful.